Whoa, I jumped the start there. False start, false start. This is the Zip Hit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and welcome to this edition of the Pit Stop. Happy Friday, everybody out there. I hope you're having a great week so far. And it's Friday, which means it is the weekend. It is time to gear up for some racing, whether you're talking about watching it on TV or our own personal racing. I have lots of racing coming up over the weekend. Friday night racing. I got Saturday racing. I got Sunday racing. Should be a great weekend for me, and I hope the same for you out there. So what is going on in sim racing this week? There's a, a, a lot of big news and not a lot of news at the same time. So it won't be a terribly long uh, show. But to me, personally... The biggest news in all of sim racing is, of course, a new video by the Sim Pit. Uh, as many of you know out there, I've reduced the amount of pit stops that we're doing. I have also cut down on a lot of live streaming, and I'm, we're putting a lot of focus on getting the Sim Pit back to its original roots, which is, you know, news, reviews, DIY pieces, tips, things that'll make you better, make your sim racing life better. And we put a video out uh, yesterday, I believe it was, Sim Racing Tips for Beginners, Pedal Calibration. I got to tell you, I, I called it Beginners. If you've been sim racing a long time and you've never really given thought to pedal calibration, you might want to watch this video. Uh, I cover iRacing, Assetto Corsa Competizione, and R-Factor 2. And there are a couple of tr uh, ticks, tricks that I use in calibration that I think go a very long way for my my enjoyment in racing. So you might want to check that video out. And again, I'm real proud of it because I feel like it's really uh, getting back to the roots of the sim pit and without the distraction of, of constantly streaming. And it's been a lot of fun streaming a lot and hanging out with the community in that way, real directly like that. But uh, really, we want to get more content out. So this will help a long way. So check that video out there. Be sure to thumbs up if you like it. I see we got one person who thumbed down. And I got to tell you, of all the videos I've ever done, I'm not sure quite how you thumbs down that one. Must be my beard. Anyway, all right. Other big news. This, this might ruffle some feather, feathers, and it might be one of those things that some people just say, well, whatever, who cares, all right? I got this at PC Gamer, but it's at almost every computer site you can find right now. Take Two. Take Two Interactive is the group behind, like, Grand Theft Auto. This is one of the best of the best in all of gaming. Take Two has reached an acquisition agreement with Codemasters. What? What? Uh, it is likely to complete in quarter one, 2021, so we're only talking a few months away from this actually happening. You're not going to believe the amount of money. We are talking just a tick away from a billion dollars. 980 million, which I heard Codemasters was not happy with that number. I don't know how strong that information is, but I heard they weren't thrilled with the 980 million offering, but apparently they have come to an agreement on Tuesday and this is going to take place. And this includes all of the assets of Codemasters. So you're talking Formula One, the franchise. You are talking about the Dirt franchise, whether you're talking Dirt 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whether you're talking Dirt Rally or Dirt Rally 2.0, uh, you're talking about Grid. And with the acquisition uh, recently of, of Slightly Mad by Codemasters, you're talking about Project Cars as well. So this is a big portfolio of racing titles going to take two, which is, I don't know. I mean, you know, I'm happy it's take two because I'll tell you, I am a longtime fan of Grand Theft Auto, every generation they've ever made. I think they're one of the best developers in all of gaming. So maybe this could be good. I've had a lot of complaints about Codemasters over the years with lack of wheel support. Um... God, it seems like sometimes a lack of love for the games they create, even, I dare say. Uh, but maybe this will have a real positive effect for us. I'm hoping. I'm optimistic. Uh, I am fearful of monopolies. I am fearful of this. I, I just try to think when these acquisitions happen and it benefited us. Usually it's the opposite. You know, you buy a thing and then you bring your spreadsheet you know, penny pinching counters in, and I don't know. Let's hope. Let's cross our fingers. Let's hope it's good for everybody, good for all of us. 
Um, you know, Project Cars, you know, Slightly Mad always claim they're going to have this independence within the studio at Codemasters. I wonder how that affects that. And then I dare say, will Codemasters at first be, be thinking, oh, yeah, but we get to just kind of operate in our own way. And, and we'll see about that as well. I do wonder and think about other things that could be really cool, though. Um, what if this meant that the next Grand Theft Auto had real Formula One cars in it? You know, because <laughs> you know, they get the licensing. I don't know what the restriction on licensing is. All right, that is the big story of the day of the week. And we'll see how it affects our lives in the near future iRacing talking about the 2021-2020-2021 iRacing World of Outlaw Sprint Car World Championship. It is set to kick off. Alex Bergeron uh, will be the man to beat when they get back there. Uh, November 9th was the first race, so four days ago they had the first race. Uh, on the 16th, let's see, Friday, Saturday will be the 14th, 15th. That's Monday night. Monday night, they will be at Knoxville. Oh, Max, you're going to check it out. Max is all excited about the Outlaws. Here we go. We got a little thing. 35 drivers, 10 races, $25,000 up for grabs. So that should uh, be fun and keep us entertained through the winter time. Go, go, Outlaw boys. You guys go get them. All right, what else? Uh, Assetto Corsa. So they are showing off. Some of the 2020 GT World Challenge Pack. It's coming out on the 18th for the PC. And then sometime this winter for the PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, it's going to feature... Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. That right there... Doesn't that look real? That does not look like a game photo to me. I mean, you have to look at things that you wouldn't think you had to look at to find that it's a game photo. Uh, but Autodromo Enzo Dino Ferrari Imola and the new Ferrari 488 GT3 Evo 2020 and the new Mercedes AMG GT3 Evo are part of what's in this uh, new pack. And we already saw that, but we didn't see that picture. There we go. That's the picture we didn't get to see. And what else? Uh, 18th. Yep, yep. And here's a shot of the Ferrari Mercedes in the back. That doesn't look as realistic because I guess if you had a camera on a post on the back of the pace car, you could get that photo. Um, anyway, that's coming out on the 18th, you guys. 18th, the 2020 GT World Challenge Pack. New cars, 60 new liveries, and the track as well. Um, Imola, there you go. I love Imola, one of my favorites. It really is. Our factor, the Peregrine Mod Competition, Husingveld. Hunt for the title's best mod design prize. Cooler Master Package mod officially uploaded. So they want, they're doing a paint scheme. Uh, we are delighted to announce the 10 community created livery designs will be selected for use in the Husingveld Peregrine, Peregrine mod competition aspect of the sim formula europe 2020 so you guys are designing the liveries that will be used in the sim formula europe 2021 uh anyway um how to create a livery so uh, again all the links for anything i ever talk about on the show are in the description here at youtube um but yeah if you want to paint up a car that could possibly be winning uh its way into this select group of cars you can win a cooler master um package as well worth 500 euros how to create a livery you click that the car it's going to be the audi r8 and here's how you submit and here's some details on what the livery should include and some of the logos that you're going to need to complete that as well so ooh, look at ooh, look at that some cool headphones i don't know if those are good headphones or not an interesting looking golf ball mouse a cool. I have a keyboard that looks like that looks like my Logitech keyboard, by the way. Um, a light up mouse pad, I think, and a Master Liquid M240L V2 RGP dual chamber pump cooling for your uh, CPU. Anyway, uh, that's something you could take part in if you want to do that. What else? Uh, congrats to Hanny Al Sapti on his second win of the season. For Rage Esport. And that was in the VCO race that went on this week. And I think that's all we have from R Factor today. 
Um, Halloween sale? Did you get it? Did you do it? Okay, that's all. Dirt 5, PC players. Apparently, a minor patch is now rolling out for Dirt 5 on Steam, bringing some more tweaks and improvements to overall performance. Look out for the new update imminently. I was playing that just yesterday. Uh, I must have gotten that update and didn't even know it. Um, I think that's all I had to say about Dirt 5. What are your thoughts on Dirt 5? Any of you playing it? Um, I've been a little torn on how to handle Dirt 5. I got Dirt 5, and I fired it up in hopes of getting down to a just totally normal Simpit review. And then it didn't have wheel support. And then it was actually a little worse than that. Not only did it have wheel support, but it actually was buggy just for having a wheel plugged in. Took me a while just to get the thing running on a control pad. At which point, I was going to do a whole rant on how much I was disappointed. Um, but in the end, I feel it's a... It's a good game. It is not a sim. Don't even for a moment wish or think it's a sim. Dirt 5 has been officially severed from the Dirt Rally. They are nothing alike. They are nothing in common. Dirt 5 is a game like Mario Kart, excuse me, with some really awesome vehicles instead of Mario Kart. And it plays like a game and it plays wonderfully with the controller. And now that I know wheel support will be there at the end of the month. I'm like, I don't even care. I don't think it's a wheel-type driving game, which changed my concept. So I went from a full review to a, it's going to be a rant on how disappointed I am, to a, you know, they have every right to make a game. And treated like a game, comparing it to Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh, I think it can hold its own. And that's how I'm going to I'm gonna approach it from that mentality. Not that it can hold its own, but that it is a game, not a sim, and let's review it as a motorsport game, uh, and we'll keep it simple. So that's the new approach, the new way I'm heading into my Dirt 5 review right now. That's what I'm working on actively, most actively. Uh, Formula 1, the game, Codemasters, uh, soon to be turn take two. Um, we're so proud of this. F1 2020 has been shortlisted for the Ultimate Game of the Year at the 38th Golden Joystick Award. So congratulations. That is a big deal. That is a big, very legitimate award thing. And for a racing title to even make it into that is really awesome. November 20th is when they're going to um, do the voting. Um, you can vote between now and 1 p.m. November 20th if you'd like to vote for Game of the Year. Maybe you'll vote for... F1 2020. Uh, NASCAR Heat 5. Motorsport Games announces new Winter Heat Series. Movember. Movember 50 at Dover. Holiday 60 at Homestead. New Year 70 at Indy. And the Valentine 80 at Daytona. There will be a $47,000 prize pool. And qualification for the four event series starts November 9th, so four days ago. And you can... Figure out how to do that. If you want to run some NASCAR heat, maybe you can get in, win some money. Gran Turismo, a bunch of little news. I'm not going to go spend too much time on it. Some update notes. So uh, still supporting Gran Turismo Sport. Got to love it. Update 1.62. Uh, following is a list of main features in the latest update. Cars, decals, other improvements, uh, things that they've adjusted. In addition to that, the Gran Turismo Sport November update. The new Toyota GR Yaris. That's a nice looking little car, by the way. Let's play this video real quick. I'll take a sweet coffee while that plays. There you go. Uh, and we have some screenshots of it as well. So, yes, the GR uh, Yaris is in that. And now they have the GR Yaris time trial. Unleash the full potential of the special rally machine on a tricky gravel track. Do you think you have what it takes to to take a potent rally machine and master it on an off-road course? If so, you'll want to test your skills in a special time trial for the Toyota Yaris. So you, that's something you could do uh, between the 13th uh, so today and December 13th is for that time trial. Anyway, kind of cool, kind of cool. Go do it, have fun. Introducing the Fulfilling My Dream with the GRR Escapes competition. So if you can't rally, maybe you can escape. 
Uh, they're doing a skate competition between now and the 13th of December as well. And details on what you need to do and how to enter and how to apply. But get a cool skate screenshot and you could win that contest. WRC 9. I just, this was so cool. Normally I wouldn't necessarily cover this. Uh, but they partnered with Xbox Pope to bring you one Xbox Series X sporting the colors of WRC 9. And we shall give it to you very soon. WRC 9 edition. There's the controller. I'm going to mute that so we don't lose our stream. Alright. And... The Xbox itself. All right, I think we have another. There you go. Look at that. Kind of cool. Um, here, good screenshot here of it. That would be badass. I would love to win that. How do you win? How do you win? Here's a couple of high res. So give it to you soon. They don't tell us how. Uh, here's a couple of high res. Yep, they partnered with very soon. This is on the 11th. Um ultimate setup take it no 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 news so we're gonna have to stay on top of this you might want to stay on top of the wrc9 twitter page because that would be a cool thing to win uh race room uh this week it looks like they're gonna be doing the 800 horsepower oh my god look at the cars the old group c cars uh weekly ranked endurance races in the group c monsters around road america so again if you're looking for some fun this will be going on for the next month 800 horsepower turbo charge engines extreme downforce three different tire compounds soft medium and hard 90 minute race distance road america in the group c cars one of my all-time favorite uh disciplines of racing group c it's hard it's hard I, anybody who's my age Group C. Group C. Legendary Group C. <laughs> All right, American Truck Simulator. They're talking about Colorado for American Truck Simulator will be released at 7 p.m. Uh, this was the other day on the 12th. Yesterday. So Colorado is now part of the DLC. Look at this. That's pretty cool. That is some really nice looking scenery for a game, by the way. I mean, that is not just like roads that is terrain that's like one of the nicest i've seen yet i think am i wrong this pack looks amazing holy cow we're gonna have to check with josh to find out just how bad it 12 bucks for the colorado dlc for ats all right, let's talk about some sim rigs, some sim pit racing, and then I get to get off the air and get back to work. Uh, we'll be having our watch party over at Twitch right now. Um, so I'll be hanging out with the guys. But here we go. He made a handbrake. It's binary switched, but it works pretty good. <laughs> so what do you think of that? <laughs> that, that looks like, I mean, not to be too... Sp that specifically looks like one of those $1 plungers you get at a dollar store. That's what that handle... I'm not even going to say broomstick handle. That looks like a $1 dollar store plunger. Why do I know about those? Tune in at Simpit Live and ask me after the show why I know that looks like a $1 dollar store uh, plunger. I know why. I, I, I have the answer to that question, but you'll have to talk to me over there at Simpit Live. Uh, here is something that goes back to the old school, like Logitech. Uh, no, no, not even that. Like back before it was even like a, a G Series, the pedal fix was always a rubber ball, a racket ball, a hand ball. Um, check this out. Not only does this guy have the conical mod, but you can see like a, I believe that's a hand ball there, smaller than a racket ball little harder as well but if you want to create your own progressive on pedals that don't have it where there's a will there's a way man just wedge something in there and hope it stays together i hope you don't break your pedal though uh uh be a monster be a monster then we got this how many of you have been there i've got one i i got them all over the place um <laughs> this is from male thick racing he got sick of forgetting the button numbers when navigating games. This is so common when it comes to games that are ported from console to the PC. 
that every button on your wheel is actually corresponding to a number that you might see up on the screen. So for example, maybe three is the back button. Uh, anyway, good job by this guy. Take note. I like, where'd you get that cool printout? I need to get a printer. I don't have a printer in my life. I have a 3D printer, but I don't have a printer printer. It'd be nice to be able to print out a nice picture of my wheel like that and do that. Anyway, well done there. Good idea for everybody out there who's having the same problem. All right, check this out. This is Andy MB 601 and his kid, the kid builds his own wheel and pedal setup for Euro Truck Simulator. Screw Fanatic. I'm going to hit this guy up for my new rigs. So I believe Game Biara is this kid's name posted here by Andy MB. So let's check this out. Man, Fnatic should send him a setup. <laughs> yeah, you rock. You rock, Gambiera. <laughs> yeah. Where there's a will, there's a way. I say it all the time. I mean it. You're my hero. You are the DIY king. All right, what else? Check. The, this was just a nice room of the day, I think. See the, the rudder pedals, by the way? Uh, Bermuda Kid. 2020 got me back into sim racing after six years and a game room, too. Man, that's a nice looking room. You know, it's quiet. It's peaceful. It's clean. It's got everything you need, whether it be driving or flying. Um, some cool decorative art. Yes, I'm impressed. Nice looking. That's good. I wish I could make my room look this clean. I just can't. I have too much stuff. I have too much stuff in here to make it look that clean, but I'm impressed with that, and I'm always jealous of people with clean rooms. All right, so we do have a charity event going on. Uh, the Mission 22 Project. Donations are not required, but this is a, a uh, charity event. Uh, but no matter what, go out and watch the stream, take part in the event, donate to the cause. Um, so this is, uh, Sunday 15th. Um, we're doing our ver yearly Veterans Day race on Sunday the 15th, the weekend following Veterans Day. Veterans Day just happened on Wednesday, um, and happy Veterans Day to, to all you veterans out there. We'll be running the GTEs this year with more information on the image, blah, blah, blah. Donation links will be there. Mission 22 is an organization dedicated to combating veteran suicide in the U.S. Their name is in reference to the average 22 veteran suicides daily in the U.S., which itself is a devastating statistic. But we know that hundreds, even thousands more are suffering and getting closer to becoming part of that st st statistic through levels of depression and things like that from uh that can happen to veterans uh it's a it's a a tough thing and it, it you, you might retire but it doesn't end there so on sunday at 1 p.m pacific time one hour practice 10 minute qualifying 45 minute race um and this will be streamed i believe devin's streaming this at his channel um so you can check that out there. So uh, check that out over the weekend. In addition to that, this week we had the Dirt Rally Finland. And uh, thank you, Alesh Mom, for sending in the results to us. That's why he's in red there in fifth place. Uh, Karik, he is a rock star. He is a one of the best in Dirt Rally in the world uh, with a 1304. That was benchmark for our crew. Climber. Finishing in second, 1428. Randy, Macho Man Savage in 1429, one second behind Climber. Uh, Ola, Alash, Dave, TFR, Sean Cole, PS4, Booth, Turn 7, Noir, Scion, John George Hill, Boz, Finney McFinger, Road Rally Race. All my friends in this series, 17 of us on this week's leaderboard. So uh, that's how things stacked up in that. And if you ever want to join any of the racing that we have going on, 
Um, even in this charity event, you'd be able to find out and ask questions. Type in exclamation mark Discord, and it will give you a link to the Simpit Discord channel where you can find out about that Mission 22 charity event. You can find out about our Dirt Rally League and join us for that. Or even our ARCA or LMP2 League. We're getting down to the end. We're going to be starting new seasons coming up fairly soon. So it might be time to get involved. But uh, this week, oh, it wasn't at Bristol. It wasn't at Bristol. Is it Texas? Sorry about that. My graphics messed up. Joe Hildinger did win. He was the best in Texas, which was a tough race, a tough track. Joe Hildinger wins the race. Wayne Roberts in second. Tom Dudek in third. Tyson Landis and Mark Mitchkowski round out our top five um, at that. And let's see here. That series right now, David Clymer, who had his worst race of the season so far, 244 points, is leading the way. Mitchkowski, four-time champion, 237 points, so seven points back of David Clymer, trying to win his first championship with two races to go. Billy Strange in third with 234. He's only 10 points back of David Clymer. Billy Strange, our OG champion, uh, trying to get his second championship. So uh, truly the best of the best have risen to the top in the Simpit Arca series with uh, Clymer, Mitchkowski, and Strange fighting for the championship. We're at Martinsville tonight, 5 p.m., uh, practice, 6 p.m. Pacific time, qualifying and race. I'll probably be going live sometime between 5 and 5.30 on Simpit Live at Twitch with that race from Martinsville. And then we finish things off at Phoenix next week, which will be the end of the season. Wow, it's been a great... This has been one of the best Oval Series seasons that I have ever taken part in. The racing has been so good. It has been so cutthroat. Um, and we have run so many green flag uh, uh, laps. It's amazing. We've had green flag pit stops. We've been doing tire management because we have a tire limitation. And people have been finishing with a fresh set of tires to go back on the truck. It's just, it's been an amazing season. And congratulations to Climber and Tchaikovsky, Strange, Hildinger, Dudek, Skinner, Roberts, Fox, Cole, and Carl. All you guys, man, in the top 10 in that season, it has not been easy. So congratulations to everybody there. Tune in tonight to find out one step closer to the championship. This week at Monza, it was Randall McGrew. Finney McFinger wins at Monza. That was race number six. Also, Gonzalo Perone did not win. He'd been on a terror, but it was Randall McGrew this time. Zoran Radosovic in third. Randall White in fourth. Matt Wagner in fifth. Randall White, if you're watching, I have your trophies ready to go. I need to get a hold of you and send them, get your address and send those to you as your second patron appreciation trophy race uh, winner trophy is now ready as well. So, all right. And then after uh, that race at Monza, we're looking at Randall White leading in the points. Whoop, 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 whoop. What do we do? Randall White leading in the points with 221. Gonzalo Perone in second, 208. Anthony Batman Murano Jr. in third with 183. And you got uh, Randall McGrew and James Dowling are our top five with two races there as well. And I believe, whoops, and I believe next season we are going to be running GT3 or GTE cars. So you're definitely going to want to take part of that. Again, exclamation mark Discord to come into our Discord channel at the Sim Pit and uh, take part in that. Now, I'm still trying to confirm with my co-host, but I'm pretty sure tomorrow, tomorrow is the second Saturday of the month. And that means at 10 a.m. we will have three wide. If I'm not mistaken, our topic goes back to last month, but we want to revisit cheating uh, the boundaries of cheating in sim racing. There are so many ways, before we even get down that topic of cheating, there are so many ways to look at cheating. So let me just lay out a little groundwork for tomorrow's show. If I have this right, I could be wrong. Uh, but are we talking about hacks? Are we talking about software cheats? I know of a hardware cheat. Are we talking about a hardware cheat? Um, I know of... Plenty of cheats that have existed. I've never used any because to me, cheating. Well, let's leave that for tomorrow. And then there's other cheating that we could talk about and angles we want. Uh, cheat. Uh, unrealistic setups. Uh, cheat. Blocking. Cheat. Um, 
What else is a cheat? I want your thoughts. I want your opinions. And if you want to be part of the conversation, tune in tomorrow right here at YouTube for 3 wide at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Me, Amir Asad, and Devin Booth discussing sim racing topics. So that is going to do it for today's show. That's all I've got for you today. It's been a pretty good show. We got this at 30 minutes. We'll keep things on track. Be sure to check out that video on pe pedal calibration. Be sure to tune in tonight for our race at Martinsville and definitely tune in Sunday as well for where are we? Where are we? I, I, I screwed up. Where are we? We are at whoops, whoops, whoops. Uh oh. I've messed it all up. Oh, come on, Sean. Where are we tomorrow on Sunday? All right, we're going to finish this real quick with me knowing where I'm going to be on Sunday. Sunday morning, 10 a.m. Another thing I'm going to mention is I did just send an email out to our patron group. The patron group supports the show. We are doing our patron appreciation race on the final Saturday of the month. And I just sent an, an email. We're going to be running the VW Jettas at Olton Park. And I'm working on that patron trophy right now. We're going to be at Barcelona this Sunday morning in the LMP2 car. Tune in for that as well. That's going to do it for today. Get out there. Do some sim racing. You guys have a great, great weekend. This is the Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.